Hey guys, you're watching Daniel and Gianna. Today we're gonna to check out India's Most Wanted, starring Arjun Kapoor. But before we get started, just wanna make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, ring the bell if you are. Follow us on social media, we don't push that enough. And uh, you I mean, guess, we kind of do push it all the time. But you guys don't care. <laughs> so, uh, um, that's because we're not worthy of being followed. We are, we well. We have to put more content To out be there. fair, we are shitty Instagrammers, and I think we're okay, okay on Twitter. There's a lot of yeah. opinions, nothing funny. Uh, a lot of Funko retweets from me, but uh, let's just get into the video. The trailer dropped last week, we missed it. Damn. India came most wanted ko pakal kar laoge ha wo bhi bina kisi hathiyar ke aur bina kisi support ke he was in what's it called right yes sir razi in like a similar role sirf char din hai tumhare paas he's the one who train training what's her name alia bhat 15 august ke helicopter se karodo ka phool barsate hain lekin desh ke liye 50000 nahi de sakte covert operation hoga hum tourist ban ke jaye kahan jana hai kartpur mein लेकिन नुकसान बराबरी का हो सकता है You know he might have been in raw and I'm confusing the two movies. Yeah, come to getting our most wanted man. Sir, ye team jahan pe gayi hai khali hath wapas nahi aayi. Aap kitne blast aur kitne innocent jaane aur sir kuch bhi ho jaye. Hum use lekar jayenge. Chahe naukri jaye ya jaan. Hara ladka pagal ho gaya hai. Pagal? Us ke jo hum sabko hona chahiye. Sir, we are this close to capturing पचास मीटर और अंदर जाने से कोई नहीं रोक सकता चाहे उसके लिए जेल जाना पड़े या जान देनी पड़े So this is a Disney movie? Now, technically? How dare you, sir? Technically it is technically, though. Yeah. Technically it is. Uh, you know, <clears throat> if I knew who India's Osama bin Laden was, let us know in the comments who that was, then I'd probably be way more intrigued with this. It'd be nice if they'd like shown something of the guy they were shown the yeah. antagonist or like or like shown like a terrorist attack or something that he well, did. They did. Oh, they did. Well, they what that the bomb? bombs those, I'm assuming that those after him. the task force was We as outsiders need more, but I think people in India know more. It's just like Zero Dark Thirty, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't show Osama bin Laden. They didn't need to show Osama bin Laden because people who are familiar with the situation know exactly who's at stake here. Did they promote? That's my did argument. they promote that movie as the hunt for Osama? Because I don't remember them promoting the movie as like finding Osama bin Laden. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I, I that's what I that's that was my intrigue to watch it though because of the the last thirty. Oh, minutes I thought you wanted to watch. Scene. I thought you wanted to watch it because because Hurt Locker. I like Hurt Locker too. No, I know, but I thought you oh, were watching because Bigelow? Catherine Bigelow Catherine directed Bigelow. Okay. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that too. And then this time she had money to make a movie. Yeah, with, I mean that too. But I'm just Locker, saying she didn't have money. They didn't. She, at no point did they explain who Osama bin Laden right. is. At no point did they like they just referenced 9/11 and that was it. I'm saying that's probably the same thing here. I'm but that being saying, said, do you think with that movie, like you had to know the Osama bin Laden aspect to watch it? That's why I'm asking the people in the comments to share. Okay. Because on May 24th, if it's released here, I'm probably gonna go check it out. Got it. And it would be nice to know because right now the stakes aren't there. Like for me, and it's because I, I don't have a draw or a connection to it. Right. Whatever. Like if because if India's most wanted, let's say it's the guy who planned the attacks of 2611. Right. You know, I, even though I think he was in Pakistan, but let's just say it's him. Yeah. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, he was responsible for this, this, and this. Or this is a made-up story, which I don't think it is, but you know, I'm just saying. That's so. As far as what we watched, though, did it appeal appeal to you? No. 
No. Never grabbed my attention. We I, yeah. It was and just I, a, it I'm was with a, you. It was I, a little low energy. High energy, but you couldn't connect to it. Because they, they were at 10. They were treating everything like life or death. But even then, the actors, like the expressions on their faces, like this main guy, if you look at his face, he just, there's no, even when he was like getting loud, his facial expression didn't change at all. It's because he's a tough man, bro. Fair enough, you know. I'm just saying, it could be, it. I, I think it could be a fun film. I think, I think there's definitely an area of, Potential for no, there definitely could the be. Uh, what have we, have we seen anything from this director before? We've seen the trailers. We haven't seen any of his movies no. yet. But No One Killed Jessica is supposed to be a really good movie. Like the movies that, that he's been a part of have been well regarded. Right. We haven't seen them for ourselves though, so uh -huh. take it with a grain of salt because uh, yeah, a lot of people like certain types of movies and we don't necessarily agree on uh, on certain things. Right. There was one part of this trailer that kind of bothered me. The CGI. I don't know if it's bothered me. No, not even that. Oh. Um, that when, bothered me. When he was like, so you guys are going to be, like, I thought Like for it was a, supposed to be a comedy? Yeah, I, for a second, I thought it was going to be like, four guys down on their luck. And then it was going to go into, like, this comedic thing. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Because those guys look like they could do something. Like, right. I didn't look at them and be like, what are these fucking clowns doing here? Right, I'm exactly. Like, they're fucking undercover agents, so they're supposed to, I mean... You can't be the best undercover agent if you look like The Rock. Right. Like if you have four rocks like going around, just like, no, I'm I'm a terrorist, don't worry. Like That'd be badass though. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. And that's the thing, it'd be funny. Just kicking doors down, cuckoosh, door flies I have one reservation though. It's a Fox Star film. Uh, Fox Star made Boggy, and Boggy 2 sucked. So... How dare you. The filmmaker might be great, the story might be great. Team Tiger. But the production company behind it yeah. hasn't made a film that I've resonated right. with yet. So, like to me, there's some hasn't pulled at your heartstrings yet. Yeah, but we'll see. May 24th, if it's playing here, I'll go watch it. Right. As always, I haven't watched a movie since Kalank, and I still have that dirty, nasty, disgusting taste in my mouth from that piece of shit movie. <laughs> so I'm hoping that maybe this one can kind of be like some Listerine and wash some of that shit out of my mouth, but maybe not. And if you like this reaction, make sure to check out our full review of. Ra, Romeo, Akbar, Walter, that right up there sucked. on the screen. <laughs> Watch it to see why it sucked. Yeah.